Santuan Antonio Davis. The man behind one of the most notorious doctor's notes in 2020 has pleaded guilty to wire fraud. In May 2020, Davis submitted a fake COVID-19 medical excuse to get out of work while working for an unnamed company at a facility located in Atlanta. Davis falsely claimed to have contracted COVID-19 and submitted a falsified medical record to his employer. Now, typically, this isn't a huge deal, and companies have to sometimes vet the authenticity of doctor's excuses. But amidst a global pandemic, it's just not the right time. And once you are exposed, past poor behaviors sometimes come to light. Concerned for its employees and customers, the company closed for cleaning, paid its employees during the shutdown, and lost more than $100,000 in the process. Davis also forced the unnecessary quarantine of several co-workers. In a statement, U.S. Attorney B.J. Pack said, quote, the defendant caused unnecessary economic loss to his employer and distress to his co-workers and their families. Well, over the course of the COVID-19 fraud investigation, agents uncovered a previous incident in which the defendant submitted fraudulent documentation to obtain benefits from his employer. In fall 2019, the defendant, quote, created and submitted false documentation to support a paid bereavement leave claim for the death of his child. This child never existed and was fabricated so that the defendant could obtain benefits to which he was not entitled. He faked the death of a child. Well, at least it wasn't real, right? Finally, while on pretrial release in the original COVID-19 case, the defendant submitted a mortgage application with numerous fraudulent statements, including a falsified earnings and employment history. The mortgage company discovered the fraud, in part after seeing the news related to the original COVID-19 charge. I mean, you're in the news, man. You're in the news. The 35-year-old recently pleaded guilty to a wire fraud charge related to a scheme to defraud his employer and to a bank fraud charge relating to the mortgage fraud. Sentencing has yet to be scheduled. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Davis has served three stints in prison, totaling nearly 18 months in custody since 2006. I'm David Manti. This is I Now.